I'm keeping a record now of how the band saw dust. It's a great little community, Feb Coffee Ground, 1,000 subscribers. How solid and compact, warming up as compost. Get some heat from it, let's create some energy from it. But watch them burn results to then look at how I'm actually making them. There's too much emphasis on making these things and not enough emphasis on how they burn, the heat that comes off them. Hi, welcome back. Um, video on briquettes. Um, if there's one thing that's been going on in my workshop over the last few months that's been really positive, it's been leaving briquettes to mature and uh, it's making a difference, let me show you. So this is the wall of briquettes. It might look a bit complicated to you, it's not to me. I basically started down there, worked my way around and as I was going around I was using the bottom ones up and I've now reached this point. So they're drying in that order. So the last one's made with those, and the first one's made with those. But I've used two weeks worth of briquettes, and I've got to tell you, they're pretty fantastic. So I'm keeping a record now of how I'm doing the briquettes. Um, today, Saturday the 4th of March, down here. This bucket has been here for four weeks, and it's maturing. That's what I'm going to call it. It's getting like compost. It's cold, it's not warm. Um, there's a lot of liquid gone in here in the last couple of weeks from the previous bucket. And what's happening is, as I'm doing this, I'm filling buckets with sawdust and coffee. And when this one's full, as it is now, it's time to start making those. And luckily, going by this, batch six because that's batch six I started this process a month ago with old water and you can see one and a half kilograms of um, coffee grounds two inches of band sawdust seventh of feb coffee grounds ninth of feb coffee grounds you can see what's going on I'm adding then I'm adding loads of dust from the work and stuff I'm doing and it gets to the height that I'm comfortable with in the bucket and I, and I just stop so it looks like in total We've got an 11 and a half kilograms of coffee grounds and the rest is a couple of inches, sort of nearly three or four inches of dust. So going by that, it's about 80, 85, 90% coffee grounds. So this will be interesting to do. Those, I have changed the process a bit more. If you saw the first process, I was using pieces of wood. I've now changed the process and I'm keeping them more compact. So um, I'll, I'll do one and I'll show you in a minute. I'll do one, but they are, I'll tell you what the difference is between doing wood and adding coffee. These are twice the weight of the wooden ones. So because they're twice the weight, I know that even the first batch, which was down here before I added these recently, even the first batch is down here, which were done uh, beginning of December, beginning of December they were done, um, they're burning fantastic. They're burning as long as wood. So the next thing I'm looking at is I've got some wooden blocks here, exactly the same size as briquettes and I'll be able to compare them to softwood. So I'll be able to compare coffee logs to a softwood piece, exactly the same size and do like for like. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll happen in the next, I don't know how long. But this isn't the best stuff yet. I started down there and, and as these were going up, these were sitting in the bucket longer. So the real ones that I'm, I'm really looking forward to are week number one. This was the end of the bucket. There's only seven there. But this week, in fact, that's probably the best week to look at. But I want to show you as well inside Hi, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe and like. And if you can buy me a coffee or the super thanks button, which is just below, um, any comments, more than welcome. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you guys. I think it's a great little community we've got here. There's about a thousand subscribers who've just come on through the briquettes over the last couple of years. So I'm grateful to you guys and the woodworkers. I'm grateful for you to stick in with, for sticking with me. Wood dust is a byproduct of what we do, what we make. We need to think of the best way of using this wood dust without, without landfill, without 
just burning it and going into the atmosphere. Let's get some heat from it. Let's create some energy from it. It is the way forward. Look how solid and compact that is. We get shrink back as the water and moisture comes out of it. As you can see, it dimples in. It's shrinking back, no air, which means it's burning like... In fact, it's burning better than wood. It's burning like a coal light. It's burning like a solid fuel, which is great. So that's the next thing. Anyhow, I'm going to make a couple and I'll show you a couple being made. And while I'm doing that, I'm getting on with something else. But this is a new part of the process. So the new way I'm doing this. So if you're used to the normal ones, I mean, this is, this is, if you've been back through my playlist and look at my playlist, you'll see I've been doing all sorts of briquettes and working my way through them and progressing. Look how green these are now with the, with the mold from the coffee. So the coffee grinds go really moldy. This is nearly dry. It's not quite this batch five. This has been here, I don't know, three weeks. So it's nearly dry. But I don't need to worry about that because the way the shelf is done, the next ones I use will be those, which have been there since December, second week in December. So these are great. As you can see, if you just look, it's more of a more of a Weetabix than, than these are. There's more coffee in there, a lot more coffee, a lot more air. And that's what we don't want. We don't want air in the blocks. We want solid blocks. So, yes, it's working. If you need me to come and help you out and you, desire, you want to do something like this, then give me a call. There will be some sort of consultation we can do and uh, make this make our waste move us forward with heat, with fuel, which has got to be the best way. Right, I'm going to do one of these. A bit back to you in a bit. Right, so I've just given that a stir with, with this thing, as, as you guys know how to you know what I'm doing with that. But look what it's done. It's brought a lot of, a lot more brown to the surface. It's coal, it's not composted. This has got, this next batch has got no water in. So that actually, that actually is warming up as compost wood. So there's no water in there yet. And I'm not going to put any in there just yet, but that's been started about a couple of weeks, I think. So this one is, as I say, I started this batch off four weeks ago and look, it's, it looks like you're looking at soil, doesn't it? And I don't know whether I've mentioned this in previous posts. If you think about the way, if you think about the way that Irish peat bogs or peat bogs anywhere are, um, the peat is dried and used. Look at this, we're not soaking in water now. We haven't got loads of water. Now look, this is a bit different because what I'm doing now is I'm, squeezing the water out of it and I'm not going to get too look at that there's so much weight on there there's a little bit of water but not much so do I and that's going to get contained in there isn't it so that's good but let me show you what I do with this. I squeeze it down with a lot of weight, pull it over a bit to get the water to come out. So there's a lot of pressure on there. There's a lot of water come out, but there's also a lot of air come out of there. So now look what I do. Look at this, it's, it is just like coffee. What I do with that, is I put it back in there. And now I leave it. And now I leave it, let it drain, let it do what it wants. And then I get the block out. I'll show you in a sec. So, a little bit wet. Not squeezing all of it out. Putting it back in, look. That's nice and clean. Comes out easier, the back doesn't break off. A lot of moisture in that, got a little bit of shavings and stuff around here on the floor by the bandsaw. You know what it's like. Doesn't hurt to have a bit of dry stuff around. Well, what will happen with this is the, um, 
instead of doing the blocks thing I was doing, remember I was doing that and then putting a piece of wood across? I'm not doing that anymore. I'm now going straight to the block, straight onto the onto there, which means I can stack a couple of those high and it's even pressure throughout. All three blocks that I do, briquettes I do, get the same weight. So it's even compression. Before I was battling trying to get all five in a row with those. If you watch the previous video, then you should watch the previous videos. Um, I was trying to get them all the same thickness and all the same height. And it's just like, now I don't worry about that. You see, these were the days when I was doing that. Look how even those are. And some of those will be really compressed and some will have taken on a bit of air. Whereas now, this newer method, which I've been doing down on this side, they're all compressed with weight on them and there's no, there's no other blocks, there's nothing else. It's just one of those block pavers weight. Job done, that should come off there pretty good. Yeah, that's all right. So that's gonna bed into there. That liquid that's in there is gonna work its way through. It's not actually gonna come out the bottom. I've left some of the liquid in. It's not now about squeezing this as much as you can. It's about squeezing it down Put a bit of pressure on it, lifting it back up, put the liquid back in it, let that liquid work through. Look how much liquid I've got out of it. That's it. All the rest is in that block and it's going to dry solid. This is the way to do it. I hope you enjoyed that. Look back at the other videos and see how I was previously doing and now look how I'm doing it now. If you see them, if you look at the playlist, that's a good way of seeing what I what was doing. You can skip a couple if you want in the playlist. I mean, but watch them burn. The watching them burn is good. That's where I've got the the results to then look at how I'm actually making them. There's too much emphasis on making these things and not enough emphasis on how they burn, what they how the burn rate, the heat that comes off them. Coffee, without a doubt, is the way to go. Put coffee in it; it burns hotter. But look at some of my previous videos of burning and you'll see that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, buy me a coffee. The super thanks is there. That would be much appreciated. See you again. Cheers.